An exhibition exploring how generations of Caribbean workers helped to shape the capital's transport network opens later this week. Visitors to the Transport Museum will also be able to chart the struggles and racism some of those employees faced. Sally Williams went to find out more. It's got all the latest refinements, including winking traffic haters. It'll seat eight more passengers than the present type, and it's lighter into the bargain. Despite some brand new buses in the 1950s, post-war London actually had a bit of a transport problem. Not enough drivers and transport workers. So they started to search further afield, which led them to Ashley's granddad. I can remember my granddad telling me how cold it was when he first came to London. Cold because it was a far cry from the Caribbean where he'd been recruited. A little bit of hidden history perhaps, now on show at the London Transport Museum. So tell me how they did it. They went over to Barbados initially and said, come and work for London Transport. Yeah, there was a big, big kind of marketing campaign. Posters were put up in Barbados and Charlie Gom from London Transport went to to Barbados, interviewed guys initially, with guys queuing up to see whether they might be interested in doing a job in London. When he came to London, he was given this pocket watch that you can see here. Ashley Mayers is now a third generation TFL worker. As I understand it, all bus drivers were given pocket watches to help schedule the buses and keep them on time. Over 14 years, 6,000 people came from the Caribbean to work in London's transport. But it certainly wasn't an easy start. My granddad was part of that time where you would see no blacks, no no dogs, no Irish. You know, he you know very 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 much saw that um, and felt that. So, but that there were good times time too. I remember when the buses used to do summer trips for the children. We used to go up to Blackpool and go wow. yeah and go to the seaside. Sherelle and Gloria have followed in their parents' footsteps too at TfL, with Gloria's mum bringing a bit of Caribbean flair to the canteen. I remember when she used to cook her own Caribbean dishes, like sweet potato pie pudding, and then she used to dish it out, and you know, and the staff just found it amazing. And the exhibition seems to reflect both the highs and lows of such a monumental life decision for so many people, and how London should always be thankful for all they did to keep this city moving. Sally Williams, ITV News, Covent Garden.